Welcome to Rusty Duck Garage. I picked up this 2022 Ford Bronco base model equipped with a 2.3 engine and an automatic transmission. I took it over to Woodburn Directions this summer where I met this gentleman that had a first gen Ford Bronco. Bronco had that he had had a 351 Windsor with aluminum heads and a roller cam and a pretty good size cam at that. We decided to run my Bronco against his Bronco. Well, my Bronco with a four cylinder engine and his with a V8 engine with a roller cam and aluminum heads, I wasn't sure what was going to happen. So, next time, I'll make sure that I have the area that's marked off just for those uh, pretty show cars there. Uh, I apologize for kind of mixing everybody together, but I do agree that uh, we want those show cars to kind of just be in their own little group there. So as we get more people coming out, we will adjust to that. Also, there's quite a few spectators here tonight. It's fun to have you guys here watching and supporting. So, uh, Well, it was a very close race. He did edge me out on the top end. That big V8 horsepower came around me very, very slowly, but he did finally get, get around me. Well, then my grandsons lined up against each other, one in the Ford Bronco and one in my Silverado half ton, equipped with a 5.3 and a 4L60 automatic. <laughs> that was awesome. Another very close race. However, the Bronco was a little quicker. If you stalled it out and really wound it up, it would outrun the Silverado slightly. But that was a great run, and uh, both uh, Dante and Logan there uh, had a great time racing on this uh, Thursday night at Woodburn Drag Strip. Oh, <laughs> Thursday nights at Woodburn Drag Strip are only five bucks to get in and spectate and I think it was 15 or 20 bucks to race. So you make as many rounds as you want. Uh, street cars only, no slicks allowed. And my wife, Norma, her, Tammy Fuller, and Robin Markham, good friends of ours, and my grandson, Logan, were hanging out there, just having a good time visiting with each other. Stick around for more in the video where I go to Salem, Oregon, to Skyline Ford, to the uh, Ford uh, Bronco show. This is the last pair going down the track at our Thursday. Thank you for coming out. It was a good car show. It was a good group of racers. Uh, a lot of them first timers having fun. We have three more coming before the end of the year. Boy, looks looking good. Looking good. Yeah. 
Our next Thursday street leading through Russell Bailey. 15 10. 15 15. That's pretty good. That's good. Skyline Ford in Salem, Oregon had a Bronco show one evening where you could bring your Ford Bronco over and uh, they had some food and music and whatnot. Um, and, and they also had some new Broncos there for everybody to look at. I got there towards the end of the show. It was getting a little late. Folks were starting to leave. But I sure did like this Eruption Green 2022 Ford Bronco. It looked really awesome in that green color. There. And uh, this uh, gray one here on 35s. And then uh, there was a couple of vintage Broncos here too. I'm not sure what year this one was, uh, but it was uh, very original condition. This uh, Harry Edition Bronco offered in Robin Egg Blue was at the show. Starting price on this Bronco was $69,995. More than double what I paid for my 2022 base model Bronco. But boy, it sure was a nice Bronco with that Robin Egg Blue and that Harry Edition Sasquatch package. And here's a couple of videos of mine and Bronco playing around in the Arizona desert.
and a few other random shots of the Ford Bronco. Thanks for watching Rusty Duck Garage, and if you would please, hit that like, share, and subscribe button, and that would really help us out.